Thank you very much. Uh, pleased to be here. This is a great conference. Uh, I missed the original uh, seminar yesterday, but uh, today's talk has been fascinating. So um, pretty, pretty. what I'm going to do is that in the next uh, 25 minutes, I'm going to go through what we are doing uh, specifically with uh, Microsoft uh, on our journey um, and with you customers, but mostly uh, combining the two visions we have, OSIsoft and uh, Microsoft, talking about some of the customer examples, and then uh, basically continuing the talk that Samit did, a uh, fantastic talk on advanced analytics and machine learning. So um, I'll start with uh, digital transformation. As you have seen that, uh, I'm pretty much focused on that uh, from our CEO, Pat Kennedy, all, all the way down. Uh, go into the IoT world, uh, or in this conference, IIoT, to be specific. And I think I like, uh, I think Rick said it uh, from Devon that now, uh, we have been doing this for a long time, now at least we know uh, what we have been doing, so with the IoT, so that's very good. Uh, we'll talk about the journey to the cloud. I know it's very new in some of these uh, areas here, in oil and gas and all, but uh, at least we'll tell you the vision. And then specifically talk about a product that uh, we, are, uh, we are announcing uh, this month, which is Pi Integrated for Azure. Uh, go into the Cortana intelligence a little bit, and then come up with a uh, program that we are announcing today here, we call Red Carpet Incubation, to do making these kind of activities easier to do, like how you do uh, exploration of those activities, and finish it up with a customer showcase. You know, the opportunity for all of us in this room to help our customers enable digital transformation has never been greater. You know, specifically the ability to use data and intelligence to infuse richness into every application. You know, more and more data is being created in the world today, and uh, there's an ever-increasing need to be able to derive insight from this data and be able to turn it into intelligent action. And to really you know, achieve that, you need to be able to progress from using data to understand what happened, to understand why it happened, to predict what will happen, and most importantly, understand what action should you take based on it. And with Azure SQL Server 2016, Power BI, and our Cortana intelligence suite, we deliver an incredibly rich set of data, analytic, and cognitive services that enable customers and partners to build fundamentally smarter apps. Uh, you can store and process any volume, uh, velocity, or variety of data, and run real-time analytics and machine learning algorithms against it. So that's the vision from uh, Scott Guthrie, which is the Executive Vice President for Microsoft, talking about the cloud-enabled uh, digital transformation. And we plug in right there, so announcing this product. Uh, you've heard about Pi Integrator, and this one is specifically for Microsoft Azure. It is actually sending data, events, and context all the way from your Pi systems, uh, whether it's the AF, whether the event frames, everything to the destinations on Azure. In this specific example, I'm talking about Cortana Intelligence, and I think um, you, if you heard uh, Devon's presentation, some of the machine learning, and then what Shamir said, that's the continuation of that. Uh, Cortana Intelligence packages all of them together. I'll go into a little bit deeper. And then how those destinations, including some of the things that's coming up in future, um, like uh, event, uh, event Hub, which is a kind of a streaming way of sending the data. So again, uh, this is a continuation of our journey with integrators. Uh, we started with Esri, we have the business analytics, uh, BI edition, and the data warehouse, SAP HANA, and this is our next one with Microsoft Azure. Okay. By the way, if you have any questions, you can ask me at, at this time, or we continue to do that at the end. So what is our joint vision? What are we doing together with Microsoft? Um, so um, uh, as you know, Satya Nadella, which is the CEO of Microsoft have been talking about digital transformation among our customers. And uh, what Pat has been saying is the same thing with the community vision and all. So what we place ourselves as the data infrastructure for the digital transformation in the uh, age of IoT analytics, advanced analytics and all, we have a common mission in providing that seamlessly to you so you don't have to worry about how to do IoT, how to do analytics. You put that data in the Pi infrastructure, whether it's all the way uh, into the edge, and you'll hear uh, from Chris Fels uh, towards the end of the day uh, what we are doing on that IIoT journey on the sensor side uh, or the edge side to the all the way. And here on the cloud, that's what I'm talking about. So um, digital transformation. You might have seen these slides in the last couple of days, but uh, I, I like this slide that actually shows the power of our customers. So, I mean, uh, it's not small. 95% uh, of the 60 
top oil and gas companies, that's 57 out of 60. I don't know why they did that percentage there and 100% in the metals and mining. I like that, so if those three customers are here, please talk to us, those uh, missing from there, but that should be pretty, uh, pretty big. Um, I like that 1.5 billion sensors. So that's actually not just any sensors, these are connected to big systems. Especially in this audience, these are pumps, these are valves, these are ESPs that uh, Samir was talking about. And that's the power of that data that comes into this infrastructure. And now we are enabling that in the cloud. And you say, what is cloud? So for this one, Microsoft Azure, if you look at this, a Microsoft Cloud vision is global, which is they have a, a big footprint. I'm gonna show you the footprint in a second. Uh, trusted, if you have seen our announcement with Project Springfield, uh, got announced uh, uh, last month um, at our conference and also at Ignite. Um, some of the way of making this work even more secure. And then finally, hybrid. So all the things that I'm talking about here is also available in some of the ways that Microsoft will bring in to your hybrid solution. I think that matches very well with this audience. So uh, that's kind of the marketing slide for Microsoft as are the Azure regions, so your gl global companies, so I thought place that in, but also in addition to that, there will be Azure available in, through Azure Stacks and various other entities um, in other areas. So what are we doing? What we are enabling that journey to the analytics with this Cortana Intelligence uh, offering. We're taking you from all the way from the data to intelligence through various types of analytics. How many of you actually have seen similar slides um, in various form. This one is from Gartner. I'm sure we have many, many more. So let, let's just spend a little bit of time here. So if you look at the bottom, it shows the difficulty on this side and then the value. So you start with basic analytics. We call it uh, descriptive or diagnostic analytics, finding out what happened and what, um, uh, why did it happen. And these are many, many tools that you have. And you have the tools at your disposal, process book, data link, core site, um, and also uh, Power BI, for another one from uh, Microsoft. But with uh, machine learning, what we do is that we actually take that to the next step. You can take it to the predictive analytics. And even more importantly, if you can take that predictive analytics and put it as part of your operationalized infrastructure, which means that you actually make a decision based on that. Um, in the common world, it will be like you have GPSs, um, all of you probably have in your car, and you can actually follow it, and it will actually give you a direction that you started uh, driving. In the middle of, and especially uh, people in Bay Area, I start driving on 880, and then a message comes that 880, that a couple of exits in 880 is blocked. It's asking me to take the side street and come back, ways and all. And so that's the prescriptive analytics as part of your operations. So doing advanced analytics is one thing, but actually using it as part of your operations is the next step. And that's what we have done uh, with our customers and with Microsoft. I'm gonna show you in the next uh, couple of slides in doing that. So any questions so far? So of course the value is there, and then if you bring that data back into your Pi system, which is the system of record. So Cortana Intelligence, I think it would be better if Microsoft was presenting this slide, but basically I like this very much. We started this journey about two and a half years ago. Um, there was a customer of ours, Carnegie Mellon University, uh, which actually pioneered in machine learning for many years, but uh, we joined hands with Microsoft and worked on, uh, and I think somebody mentioned, Rick mentioned the word CAST, that was the project CAST at that time. So for two and a half years we've been uh, working on this. Now Microsoft has a suite of offering, Cortana Intelligence, and uh, Pi Integrator connects the Pi data context and events there. Remember, I keep on saying this Pi data events and context, which means this is not just the raw data that's actually going in here. All the things that actually Craig presented and all the other people presented about the context part, which is the AF, is extremely important. So actually that makes it easier, and I'll actually bring it back to the data janitorial problem that uh, Sami talked about. So, mandatory slide here, um, three types of things we are talking here about. Time series data, that's the core part of the Pi data archive and you all know that, and it can collect the data, keep it in high fidelity for years and years. I personally, um, I actually used to work for British Petroleum on BP, and we started the journey with Pi in mid-90s, actually 90, 93, 94 to be precise, and we're the, one of the first ones in BP that actually started it. Later on when uh, BP merged with Amoco, we learned that Craig started doing it in 89, so we were kind of late. 
But so for that many time that these companies have been collecting data, the time series data stays. In the last few years, we've been seeing this context getting added, the AAP structure, extremely important. But my favorite is that next one, the event frames, the bookmarks. So a lot of these OT or the operations people actually putting in these bookmarks into the system by which they can really talk about the advanced analytics in their mind. If there was a way to take those information from those systems with the event frames and the asset framework all the way to the advanced analytics, then it would be much easier for somebody like a data scientist to do that work. And that's what the integrator does along with all the way, in our connectors, for example, we bring in the context. So I started, when I started doing Pi, I'll probably do something on this side, uh, which is the before, um, created my point database or the tag names with names context, to be precise. And um, after that, which is AF, if, for example, Element Analytics has gone through and created their contextualization on the AF structure, that's what you'll get, and, and m much more with the templates. So coming back to this, this problem again, and I think you will see this repeated a, a little bit with uh, uh, what Samir said, but basically 80% of the wasted time is data preparation, data wrangling, and we are making it easier to exploration by completely eliminating it. And how we are doing it is through use of the cast or the integrator, and in this case, we are creating the analytics-ready data. And specifically in my presentation, I'm t telling you how you take that to uh, Cortana. So, summarizing, by time series data, the e asset data and events goes into, and you can really start doing Power BI automatically. I mean, you don't even have to do the things that uh, what Kurt was showing you today immediately. So with, with a good model of AF, with a good event frame and then integrator, you can start that. And then you can take that to the next step by sitting together with your data scientists to do the predictive maintenance or predictive analytics. So what I'm announcing here is a red carpet incubation program for a journey like that. And so we have been doing this with few customers already. And what is that, you'll ask? Um, in that case, what we do is that we actually make a copy of your Pi system in Azure. We bring in all the integrator and everything together. And uh, of course, in some cases, you might actually need a different integrator than the Azure, which is the, for the SQL server, which is the BA uh, integrator. And then uh, for a compressed time, for a few weeks, we work together to explore. And what is an advanced analytics exploration? Advanced analytics exploration is that, uh, suppose you, um, you go to a shopping mall or one of this Nordstrom or something like that, you, you're trying things out, correct? So if you know exactly what analytics you need, you can plug it on and then just push it back. That's not a problem, but if you do not know what analytics actually you need, what use cases you actually want to do, it takes a long time. And what we have done with this program is that we have made it very easy to explore that. Within a couple of weeks or two to four weeks, you can come up from all the way from the Pi data, raw Pi data. You don't actually need AF context to be there to start this program. We'll actually help you achieving that. All the way to the um, advanced analytics, running the predictions and bringing it back into the Pi system. So the exploration is the key thing here. It's not just the products, because OT has that knowledge of what needs to be solved. IT has the data scientists who can solve that. And so if OT and IT can work together through these tools, these tools that are available on the Azure, available with the collaboration tools, then it makes it easier. So what we have been doing with few customers, I'm gonna mention a few, and then some of these uh, coming in the journey. Um, uh, the Schultz Brewery right there actually presented. I'm gonna have a video with, uh, with them. And uh, so they are actually making it easier to go from different phases in the beer production. They're actually making, using predictive analytics in part of their operations. ArcelorMittal is doing the same for their mines. Um, and we're starting the kicking off with Devon Henkel. It's an interesting story. It's actually, um, I've been a Pi customer for a long time and they are now coming in and uh, they had the internal data scientists looking into these models and they wanted a way to operationalize it. And by operationalization, I mean that you have a model which you can run offline a couple of times, maybe every month or everything, but what about if you take that model, put it on the cloud, and the Pi data and the context goes all the way to that model, runs it automatically as the data, and then the predictions comes back to Pi. So that's what they're doing. 
and with Tata, I'm very pleased to talk about them. They're, they're actually doing facilities management, um, uh, actually doing energy management for their facilities, uh, looking at some of the power curves, and doing uh, some of these areas of, they're making shift decision, like whether to run longer shift versus shorter shift, because they want to be carbon neutral by 2019 or something like that. So not just the power cost, which is huge for the factories, but more importantly, they're also looking into um, how to change the shifts, for example, to be uh, less on carbon. So of course, I you can see that we have some open slots for these uh, things, and, and if you as uh, talk to Tom and says if you're interested, go and talk to your account manager, and uh, we can go further. So any, again, any questions so far? So uh, there are two integrators that I'm talking here about. One is the integrator for Azure, which is sending it to the Azure properties, and then another one called the business analytics integrator, which is uh, sending it to the data warehouse like SQL Server. So let's talk about the uh, workbench or whatever we are calling this environment. So um, it's, um, it's not that complicated as it looks because it's, uh, it's been a little bit, uh, m uh, marketing has worked on that. So basically think about this, you have your Pi system and, and on the Azure, that's in the middle and you're actually going to store your data on the Pi server. So we're going to copy that data in the Pi server, install the machine learning, install everything as part of that program. And then on the right hand side, on the extreme, you have the machine learning, web services, and uh, Power BI. How many of you actually know about Azure machine learning? Just Kurt Hurtler, okay. Okay, so, um, so then, then let me take a couple of uh, minutes here. So Azure Machine Learning is an environment where you can uh, use different tools or drag and drop to create operationalized machine learning. You can use R, which is a great uh, programming tool. You can use Python. Um, I actually, actually see their uh, Microsoft people in there. Go and talk to them afterwards if you want to know more. Uh, Matt, if you want to raise your hand. Anyone else? Randy? Uh, there we go. And so uh, talk to them about, they'll be glad to talk to you about that. Um, but one of the things that I like about machine learning, or the Azure machine learning specifically, is the way that an engineer who has done Excel or has done some of the statistical modeling can go there directly and just drag and drop and create a model. It's not difficult. It's actually very easy to explore that. And that's what we are trying to do here uh, with Microsoft, making it, taking it from the self-service BI uh, which is the Power BI did to self-service ML or self-service machine learning with Pi Data. So once we have gone through this program, let's say two to four weeks have done, you have operationalized an infrastructure with integrator, then you can come in and take that drag and drop and move it to the next step. Suppose you've done it with uh, tanks in one part of your company and use the AF templates to just change it and run the Pi integrator views to go to the next step. So that's, those are the things that we are going. This is the next generation of taking the self-service part and going in there. There are a couple of other things in there. Uh, SQL Data Warehouse, it's actually a massively parallel SQL server um, that's running as a platform as a service on, on Azure. We have Azure Data Lake support. If those, many of your companies are actually working on Data Lake, because I, I know that, so that's, we're supporting that. Oh, yes. Um, so um, there's something in the bottom, that arrow, the dotted line coming back, and that's what the future data or the predictions coming back into your operationalized Pi system. Well, it looks complicated, but we can help that by looking into some of the customers. So um, I'll go into a little bit detail, and actually I'll come back to this slide maybe after you see the Deschutes uh, presentation. But in this case, what we are showing here about that once it's all done, this is your pipeline, but you will be using a combination of tools to visualize that predictive maintenance or predictive analytics. So this is no, not your machine learning. You don't have to go into a computer to learn uh, our language. Your things or the predictions comes back to your familiar tools like CoreSight, Power BI. In this, in this side, left hand side is CoreSight, right hand side is uh, Power BI. So let's look at a, a customer example. I think it makes it much easier. So that's uh, the Schutz Brewery. Hi, my name is Brian Favor, and I am the brewmaster of operations for Deschutes Brewery. I think people have different ideas. What you know, what what is a brewer's job? And really, what our job, a big part of our job, is just to ensure the quality that we want to hit on a day-to-day -day basis. 
We know financially we need to be able to take on this investment to build a second brewing production facility is a big undertaking, a big financial investment. So it's, it's very important that we're able to really maximize our capacity and efficiencies. And so that's when we reached out to OSI Soft. Here at OSI Soft, we really believe that if we can get your process data, your sensor-based data to you, uh, at your fingertips, you can transform how you operate your business. You can solve problems that just wouldn't be capable without the data. Once we supplied the, the historical data from the Pi system uh, that defines three or four years of brew making production, we supplied that to the Cortana Intelligence Suite. We're able to use that to define a model that actually predicts an uh, event that happens within the fermentation process. We're making decisions on a, now multiple decisions on an hourly basis on how to run our operation. So if we don't have the data to back that up and support it, um, it, it leaves us definitely in a bind. This project, the relationship with OSI Soft and Microsoft has been nothing short of tremendous. Uh, the Pi integrator for Azure has helped us to achieve this predictive analytics to help us make the best beer we can. So they've been using the Cortana Intelligence Suite and uh, Integrator for Azure to operationalize end to end. So um, uh, what they do is very interesting. They actually, as, as they're going from one of their phases to another, they're actually getting the predictions back from the machine learning and they're actually adding chemicals or making shift based on that data. So um, it's, uh, and, and you'll see some of the core site screens and all when they do their next uh, presentation. They actually presented at our Berlin conference. Uh, we can put that link out, it's on our, uh, on our website. But that's, that's what the thing is. They are actually using it as part of their uh, offering. Um, they came to us about three or four years ago and been uh, working on Pi infrastructure for quite some time. So they've already got a lot of values by, by Pi systems. And um, so in the next generation of that was taking that data from Pi system through the integrator for Azure and now making it as part of their, uh, their operations. And they're going to do more things, so they are actually working on various other uh, initiatives. And, and all in all, that actually saved them uh, quite a bit uh, of, of their time, because if that batch is gone, it's, you, you just have to throw it out. So it's a lot of money um, if that's not on the quality. So uh, that's what kind of my uh, last slide. So any questions so far? Yes, sir. <laughs> so we are actually looking into a craft breweries as one of our campaigns. So yes, definitely, we're looking for volunteers, yes. Questions? <laughs>